Actually, I'll go for private privatization first. No. No. There we go. I don't know, I was considering trading something with these guys. Alright, let's see how our trusts are doing. You're okay. Maybe. I don't know, maybe we'll get a trade treaty off these guys. Oh, that's right, we have fusion beams. Maybe we can trade that. Do they have fusion beams? I think they do. Huh, we are- we have energy- they don't even have any energy weapons. So, hold on. 450 for anti-frigate missiles. Crud. <laughs> yeah, I gave them a little bit of uh, a bad trade, where I had more than they had. But it might be worth it. Uh, Anti-frigate score is 450. I mean, I would... How about I trade fighter shields for for anti frigate missiles? Cool. It's always nice. Are they going to attack them? Pretty sure they don't like each other. Got ourselves some biospheres, which is always nice. Oh yeah, that's why our income increased so much, because we, we took over their home world. Duh. That as well land you. Yeah, that's that's what I thought you would try to do. Definitely won Imperial offices before. Aeroponics. Do want a research lab here. We don't need a colony shield. I'm very daring when it comes to that. Oh, look at the... J just look at the income boost. Missile silo, gum and placement. It's all good. It is, it is going well for my empire now. Cool Rothy down. I really want to see if I can get my... Yeah, people are dying, I know. Sort of stinks for them. It'd be really nice to get vertical farming.
Actually, I might just send that. Yeah, I'm sending that frigate to take care of all the excess. I don't know what you call it. Um, ups, excess subspace projectors that were left there. Well, thanks for getting our Kulrathi planet taken over. We can now get a better income. I don't think that'll be too bad of a planet to colonize. It looks pretty decent to, in my eyes, but I could be wrong. Let me make sure they still think the squid, the Cthulhu people are still, um, still friendly with them. Because they seem to be in the same territory, I... Really? Huh. Yeah, those polyps are growing really big. They're they're in a little isolated pocket too. That's the interesting thing. Apparently, everyone can construct cruisers except me. Well, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this. After privatization and point defense, I'm going in cruisers myself. If I can find it, that is. There you go, bam. Oopsie daisies. I meant to go for bull. Hopefully I can get experience on that guy. That's good. Uh, let's put ourselves at Rover Bay on this planet. <sighs> nice! So we should be able to get a little bit more money off of that. Maybe after cruiser construction, I'm thinking I might actually go for capitalizing banking. It operates your planetary tax by 50%, which is ridiculously awesome. So yeah, I might just immediately head into that. Man, our income just just skyrocketing. So we're just going to lower it a bit for the purpose of more research. Everybody's doing pretty good except Garalds, which is a duh.
Yeah, you could probably do it with a little bit less. Point defense. Nice. Now we should finally be constructing our some of our first frigates. <laughs> Not frigates. Um, cruisers. Which is good news. I don't think those guys are ever going to be our friends, so we might... So while these guys are sort of sitting idly over here, we might as well make some tanks. Because you never know when we might go on the offensive. Oh, that's okay. Our, our... Great. Killed in a training accident, of course. There's just nothing interesting over here for these... Oh, wait, there is. That's cool. Hmm. I think my next target shall be the Draylocks. Because right as of now, as you see, their military strength is at the very bottom. Wait, who's number six? Oh, okay, they are. So head for them. I won't ask for these guys to fight them because in order... Oh yes, cruisers, nice. In order... In order for me to become a federation with these guys, which is essentially overruling them through diplomacy, I have to have a stronger empire than they than they have. Which may be a while. So I definitely think I'll be approaching it through that route. And once I do that, I'll conquer up here and etc. Right now, I'm just going to let my empire grow. I'm going to wait until I get capitalized banking. Then I'm going to get, I'm going to implant it on my planets. And once that is done, I will be destroying some Draylocks. Hyperspace Flux is a go. Well, I mean, it's gone, excuse me. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this planet doing? Um, what can I place down here that will help? Place that there. Military outpost, that would be nice. Yeah, really, those defense posts don't hurt the planet. Alright, you have a rover bay up. Which is good, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Um, we probably want... Where is it? Aeroponic farm, there you are. And then I will want Imperial offices. Let's see where else we can... Chain things up. Yeah, we can have a mil missile silo here. Let's just make sure these places are just pumping out troops. Probably have some troops pump out at Earth. Since I was talking about taking over the Draylocks, I might as well pump out some stuff at Pluth.
There we go. Fortunately, this guy's still loving up. I don't think that'll take any time at all. How's Bull doing? Still getting its... Getting that up. In the meantime, I'm gonna have this guy destroy more subspace projectors. And that way we can play some of our own. Besides, it doesn't look nice. Improved climate. Where's that desert? Oh, it's in Shiel. Okay. So we'll be definitely building a fleet down here, and we'll go after Tigger first. Tiger. Excuse me. Tigger. T I double dagger. So yeah, we're gonna make ourselves some ground troops down here. What do we want after capitalized banking? Um. I might actually go for Xenogenetics, just so my research rate can boost up even more. As far as weapons go, I guess I'm okay for now. This is great, he's leveling up. I'm not sure if- I'm not going to be sending any agents after the Draylocks, because they seem to be Xenophobic Generalists, which means they have really good agents. Before I attack him, let's... Yeah. Unfortunately, for us, they have a Rage Crystal, which boosts the strength of their military units. As in their ground troops, which is bad since we have Timid. But it looks like we'll just have to deal with that now, shall we? Let's set this as Fleet 2 for now. Yeah, attack that, please. All right, since we have centralized banking, we're going to plant one on every planet that we own. So one for you. One for you. One for you. This up, too. One definitely for you. Look how much it increased our income on these planets. Oh, when did you get a negative income? Oh well, that's about the change. One for you. Just look how much it raises it. It's awesome. One for you, and also you can for to get other stuff. Definitely one for you. Watch. Watch, it's gonna double. No? Oh. Eh, interesting. Well, that's because there's a lot of research going on here. Definitely one for you. You have an aeroponics farm? No, you don't. They probably want to give you an aeroponics farm so you're not dying. You have steady food production. There you go. That's that's a lot better. Military outpost, missile silo. Once you're, once you're done with that, we'll place down one of these as well. Or 
We're getting there. It's gonna help out a lot. <laughs> Our credit income, man. Yeah, we're not gonna put one there, down there yet. So I think everyone has one. Except here, but that'll, that'll be soon enough. With that in mind, since we just got such a great boost on our economy, I'm going to build ourselves our first cruiser. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, um... See how we can fit this. <laughs> this is going to be a really odd design. And we'll just have decorated with small engines, I guess. Yeah, that's probably the bad thing about the Volf the Volf airships is that they're very, very thin. Now since the energy won't reach these power cells, we're gonna have to build some power conduits. For sure. Alright, let's try to organize this better. <sighs> if we can. I don't think we can really. Especially for those engine compartments. Um, that stinks. Okay, so we can do that. Place one there and then here. Generally, I cover all the area, so I think that will do. <laughs> really, this is an odd layout for essentially everything. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm gonna have a lot of recharge for warp. Man, these ships are so thin. Alright, let's turn arcs on so I can see where my sh how my shields affect everything. Yeah, let's try to see what is going to happen. I'm just going to generally place these here so I can get an idea of how my ship's going to run. Okay. Defense shield. Just have to put two there.
let me tell you, this is going to be a very interesting ship. I'm not very familiar with this layout because a lot of other ships aren't as thin as the Vulfins. I say Vulfins. I think it's Volfar. It used to be something like Wol Wolfin in the very early stages of this game. One more should do. There we go. Much better. Alright, now to outfit this puppy with some weapons. Definitely want some fusion beams going. Didn't we get point defense cannons? Yeah, we did. Nice. So we're going to have some of those running on our ship. For sure. Now we're going to alter the arc, so... That's pretty nice coverage. I think I'm just going to roll with mostly energy weapons. Primarily. Um, hmm. There we go. Of course, I'm going to have to outfit this thing with power cells, so I have to keep mind of that. Also, I still need a bridge, so let us make one. I'll put it there for now. I'll, I'll decide later where I want it. Um, let's see what we can get away with by putting two reactors here. Still not enough coverage for the tip of the ship. I might have to resort to... Well, that works. Um, let me just think of what I can put up there as a weapon. Oh, I can put a, a fusion cannon. Fusion turret. Yeah, there we go. some white armor up here. We have to keep watch of our recharge at warp and warp speeds, etc. Turn rates. Right now the turn rate is pretty good considering that we are <laughs> and we barely have anything equipped to our ship. I might actually put some ord ordinate storage on the back. I don't know if I want to waste shields in the back. Um, maybe I can Let's see what I can do with a fighter shield. Yeah, I could probably place these on the back because it is actually pretty important to have my engines concealed because if they get shot down then then I, this thing's just like a floating duck. Might as well fill those areas up. Um, I really want to carry, have a wide area in terms of. That's a laser beam. Oh, wait, wrong. I was going for the beams. What energy cannons? Because I think I'll outfit this thing with laser turrets. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for more fusion beams up here. 
and then I'll put my precious turrets.